Hello and thank you for watching my video. My name is Astrid Krasnici. I'm CCNA and CCMP certified instructor. In this video, we are covering CCNA semester 4, Connecting Networks. This is chapter 1, Hierarchical Network Design. Section 1.3, Evolving Network Architectures. IT Challenges. As businesses have grown more dependent on a network for success, network architectures have evolved over the years. Traditionally, users, data and applications were housed on the premises. Users could only access the network resources with company-owned computers. The network had distinct border and access requirement. Maintaining security, productivity and services was simpler. Today, the network border has shifted, creating new challenges for IT departments. Some of the top trends that will include today are bring your own device, BYOD, video communication, online collaboration, and cloud computing. Emerging enterprise architecture. The speed of the change in a market and a business environment is requiring IT to be more strategic than ever before. To address these emerging network trends, new business network architectures are necessary. Cisco has introduced the following three network architectures as shown in the figure. We have a Cisco borderless network architecture, collaboration architecture, data center or virtualization architecture. Cisco borderless networks. The Cisco borderless network architecture is a network solution that allows organization and individuals to connect securely, reliably, and seamlessly to the corporate network in the bring your own device environment. Specifically, the Cisco borderless network architecture delivers two primary sets of services. Borderless endpoint user services connect the various devices to pro provide access to the network services. Devices that can connect to the borderless network can range from PCs to tablets and smartphones. It removes the location and device borders. And then we have a borderless network services. Unify the approach to securely delivering application to users in a highly distributed environment. It secures, it securely connects internal users and remote users and provides access to the network resources. Collaboration architecture. Working in a collaboration environment helps increase the productivity Collaboration and other types of groupware are used to bring people together for one reason or another, such as to socialize, to work together, to cooperate and contribute to pr production of something. Cisco collaboration architecture is compo composed of three layers, application and devices. This layer contains unified communication and conference applications such as Cisco Web WebEx Meeting, Cisco Jabba. Collaboration services, this layer supports collaboration application, including the following services, presence, location, session management, and contact management, client framework, tagging, and security management. Network and computer infrastructure, this layer is responsible for allowing collaboration anytime, from anywhere, on any device. We have a data center virtualization. The Cisco data center virtualization architecture is built upon Cisco Data Center 3.0. It comprises of a comprehensive set of virtualization technologies and services that bring the network, computing storage, and virtualization performed together. The data center architecture consists of three components. The Cisco Unified Management Solution. Management solutions simplify the automate the process of deploying IT infrastructure and services. Unified Fabric Solution. Flexible networking solution delivers networking services to servers, storages, and application. Unified computing solution, Cisco Next Generation Data Center system, unites computing, network, storages, access, and virtualization. Thank you for watching my video. Please have a look at other videos and don't forget to subscribe. This concludes this chapter one of CCNA Semester 4 Connected Network. Bye bye.